What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Getting ready to take the old boat out to Lake Gunnersville today. My dad is down here. He came down for a couple days to help work on our venue and lodge as well as go fishing a little bit, have a little vacation. But we're gonna go fish Lake Gunnersville and they've been pretty finicky some days lately. Some days they're biting, some days they're not really biting at all. So we might have to go finesse on them. And we're also gonna give you guys a mystery tackle box today. This is the October box that came in. Let's check it out. Got some good, oh, look at that. Little feather light hooks, tiny wide gap hooks. A lot of times pressured fish, you can use smaller baits, downsize your baits, downsize your hooks, you get more bites. Got a gold trap in there. We got some liquid mayhem scent. We have one of these Dobbins white and chartreuse jigs. All right, we're good as a swim jig. Another trap, it's about trap season. They buy the trap all year long, but winter time, early, early spring, traps are really good, especially when fish start keying in on bait fish. And then we have a Yazuri uh, jerk bait. Shad, black back color. Awesome, awesome little box for the month. And they're focused on baits working this time of year. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna fish around. If you want to enter to win this mystery tackle box, please let me know down below and put a comment in there and you'll be entered to win. I'll randomly pick a winner one week from today in another YouTube video. Uh, usually I announce it in the description of the video, so stay tuned for that. Give me a comment after watching today's video and let me know what you thought the biggest fish we caught today, any species is gonna weigh. Just let me know what you thought it weighed. And then uh, you'll be entered to win. But yeah, mystery tackle box, awesome way to learn how to fish new baits. They're doing a big sale next week, kind of coming up for the holidays, they're kicking it off. We're probably gonna target some key transition current areas that the late fall, early winter, it's kind of been a colder fall, really it's mid fall right now, but some bridges and some bluffs. We're gonna try to key in on those two places today and downsize our baits, go a little finesse because it's been tough and just see how we do fishing. I'm excited, let's get out there, stick with me and let's go catch them. Is that your first cast? Yeah. Really? Is it a netter? Oh, spotty. Good job, Dad. Right off this bridge. Nice. Not quite a netter. <laughs> I don't have our net out. Look how fat he is. So fat. Let me see him. Look at this guys, belly on that is huge. See you. Nice. <laughs> it's like your first cast once we pulled over this bridge. Wow. Oh, I got one. Yeah, feels like a good one too. Oh, we get that net out, Dad. It's under you. We gotta screw it together still. This is a big and whatever I got's good. Something good. Woo! Uh, oh! I don't know what I got. He's big though. Oh! Come on, buddy. You see it? <laughs> we don't know what it is yet. It's a bass, it's a giant. Oh, it is a drum. Dang it. Oh, needed the net though. 
Wow. Way bigger than that. Yeah. That's a big one, huh? Man, he ate that thing, too. Wow. That's a fighter. <laughs> Giant drum. Wow. Mm, come out of there. My goodness, guys. That is not what we're after. The drum master, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of that. See. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, I need a giant, not a giant drum, a giant bass. I know. I thought it was gonna be a big. And... Whoo! It was a big. Wrong species. I think I got one. Yep. Yeah, giant, That's a absolute giant. Look how big it is. <laughs> he is as big as my turd. See ya. I'll take him. My first bass of the day. Absolute monster. We just coast with the current right here. We're just coasting. You got one, don't you? Nice. I saw him running with it. There you go. Another little spotty. You can catch a ton of these spots on the Ned Rigs. It's amazing. Dad's using the same Ned Rig. Good one. 16 feet down. Got me a tree. Got it. Bended it all the way out again. Not good on the hook, but got it back at least. Come on. Dang it. Got me. There's one. It's down by the base of that lay down. It's a decent little guy. Yeah. That's a little better spot right there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. 14 incher. Spat. Oh. See you. Got that little kick release. And I got poop on my shoe. A little turd. So what we're doing today is fishing bluffs mainly. We fished a bridge earlier and we are casting these Ned Rigs right to the edge of the bluff, trying to catch these bass that are pushed up against the rocks. The current's going by, so they're sitting in little breaks, uh, little eddies right past the bluffs that stick out and they're just feeding waiting for bait fish crawdads anything to float by these bluffs and these little ned rigs work perfect uh, you catch all different size fish different species you saw that drum and we've caught a few good ones this morning already we're hoping to catch a few more here dang dang looked like a good spot for a spot so we've hit like five or six bluffs already and we've only caught a couple fish but what we're realizing is the bites we've had are coming from ledges that are dropping straight off instead of gradual slopes so we're moving to a little steeper bluffs going to try them uh see if we get a few more fish Yeah, fishy, fishy. Got one? There you go, Dad. Good one? Oh, that's a stud. I'm going to hit spot lock. 
That's a good one there. <laughs> right in yeah. Seat. Nice one. That's awesome. That's the biggest spot you've probably ever caught. Oh, I just missed one. That's a big one, Dan. Can't even hang on to it. <laughs> yep. That right there is a stud. Nice. Where's the camera? Here, I'll get you a picture. The camera's up here. Got it. That's a big one, Dad. That's a two and a half pound spot. Easy. Nice. He was all the way under the boat by the time you got to him. Reeled up, set the hook. You know it? Huh? He ate it and ran under the boat. Yeah, current's ripping. Another thing about the bluff we fished is it's kind of a current break and an eddy, and there's a part that goes the opposite way that this current's going. Is that right? Yeah, that's probably also why they're hanging out on it. Yeah, 40 is about the deepest we got. It's 40 now. You got one? There you go, Dad. I'm stuck and you got a fish. Switch that. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, too. Good job. I'm over here stuck. Got your drag set. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Good one, Dad. Turn us around here. You're good. Yep. <laughs> I'm stuck. He gets a fish. Kicking my butt this morning. All I can catch is a drum. Nice. That was a largey, not a spot. Pretty sure I didn't get a good look at it. But yeah, I got it out. I got one. Same spot you were. Yep. One small though. I think. Huh? He's not that small. It's a large you too. Back to back. Ah, stop it. Look at that. 14 incher, not as big as yours. Get my hook out. There you go, Dad. Whoa, see him spit up a plastic worm? That's a small mouth. <laughs> you got a small mouth. I do. I'll see. I'm small too. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Smalley. So far, we've caught all three species spots, smallies, and largies. Okay, so the baits we caught them on today were little Ned rigs, one tenth ounce. I didn't really talk about how we were fishing them or techniques, so I think maybe my next video, I'll do a video explaining our setups, how we're fishing them, how we're catching them, how we're getting more bites, and be, be on the lookout for that video coming up. But remember, if you commented down below during this video or right now, you'll be entered to win that mystery tackle box uh, today and we'll announce it next week. So hope you enjoyed this video. Had a blast fishing with dad. He kind of kicked my butt in this little two hour outing and we're gonna go work on the venue. So get excited. We're gonna have some progress coming, some updates on that soon. We're gonna get out of here. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, hit that thumbs up button for me, like this video, share it if you want, and we'll catch you next time on Fishing with Norby.